Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and they want to get rid of the background. Well, you can't do it to, I mean, you can't, it's just, it's a, it's an object. It's, it's all together. You can't do anything to it. I've already done it. It came out pretty good. So we're going to grab this object. It's not too big, so we're not going to do anything to it except for trace the bitmap. Now, yours might be under bitmap, outline, trace, clip art. And we're just going to trace it. We're going to go and bump the detail up to 100 and say OK. Now we're going to move that new one out of the way. Now we're going to take this and actually, let's zoom in, and actually ungroup it. And then we're going to delete the stuff we don't need. I think there was a line over here we don't really need to. But I'm going to delete all the black interior parts. And there's going to be a little bit of trash left. So we just so I'm just selecting them and deleting them. We want to try to get all that away. A little bit of, in this corner right here. Don't really have to do it at this time, but might as well. And see how it's kind of rough, so we're going to delete that. Now we're going to take this thing. And see, some of them are grays and browns. and So we're going to select the whole thing. We're going to get rid of that line first. Select the whole thing, and you can still see some trash down in there. It might be the part of the curve or something. But anyway, we're just going to make it all black. Now we're going to go, and it's going to put these lines together. I don't know if you can see that, but there's, where that brown was, we're going to select it all and we're going to combine it. And what that does, it's going to combine all those pieces. Now let's move this up. I've still got a line there, an invisible line. Let's look at that in a wireframe. See that line? Go up here and break curve apart. Now we can get rid of these lines, hopefully. And we're pretty good. Now we're going to put it back to view and enhanced. And the one I, oh, that messed up. So let's just move this over. Can't really break the curve apart, but we could probably um, go up to object. Well, if we break, if we break the curve apart. We could, we're going to, we're going to fix that anyway. That doesn't matter. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, left click, right click. And the one I'm doing this for, I set your nudge factor on zero, zero, you had it on 0.25, which is default. I'm gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. I am going to go ahead and take a two point line and holding down the control button and then hit P and put it in the center of the page, which doesn't work because of those lines. Let's see if I can't delete these lines. Yeah. So now let's hit P, there we go. That's what we want. Now, then you just pick which side's better. Um, you know, this has quite a few lines. That side doesn't have as many. We're going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete all these lines on this side of the line. And a lot of times it'd be better if, if I would have made my line red and a hairline. So I'm going to make them all a hairline right now. To me, it's just a lot easier to work with and easier to see the mistakes and we're going to delete all these lines and I'm actually going to delete that diamond shape because we can very easily, instead of trying to fix it, we can very easily just create a new one, but make sure you get everything on this side of that line. So we're just going to delete that diamond shape. Now we can delete our line and then go through here and delete some of these interior lines. Uh, we'll try to get as many as you can. Because when we use the Smart Field tool in a minute, it'll make it a lot prettier looking. Went a little bit too far. Let me zoom in. We're pretty good. We got some broken nodes right here that we'll fix in just a second. This one, I'm going to delete the outside and the inside line. Delete this line, delete that line. And see, I'm not having to do the entire thing. In one, it'll be easier to clean up, and two, it'll be uh, a lot better looking. It'll be more symmetrical by the time we get finished. 
just delete all these interior little bitty nodes, a uh, bunch of junk right there. We can't really delete that, but if we take the shape tool, we could delete these nodes and maybe even, uh, well, let's just delete it and see what happens. Might We might have to make that a little bit different. So let's, with the virtual segment delete key back, get rid of that. We're gonna go ahead and, and uh, delete these nodes. Try not to delete too many like I just did. With the shape tool, you can just delete nodes, delete, well, that's what we don't wanna do, so we wanna actually delete that one. Nope, let's just leave it like it is for a second. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is smooth this out, and if you have X7 or above, we need got one more set of lines right there I missed. And what we need to do now is to, let's just correct this. We got like three nodes on top of each other. Grab your shape tool and just delete that node, and then take this and just bring it down, and then at that time, fix your angle again. Now, we need to select everything and go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. I've got mine set on point one. So it, what it did, it took all those broken nodes away. Then we could take the smoothing tool, if you have X7 or above, and set it on pretty little and just smooth this stuff out. Now, we still got one line right there I should have deleted. But the smoothing tool actually worked on it. Nah, a little messed up. Let's zoom in, get the shape tool, and delete that extra node. There we go. Now get the smoothing tool back. And just real lightly smooth this out. And you could spend a, a little, just a little bit more time on it than I'm doing and do a lot better job. That looks pretty good. There's actually another node there that we could get rid of. Get the shape tool back and delete those two nodes. This is really pretty simple. A few more straightening up with the smoothing tool. And if you don't have the smoothing tool, and the gentleman I'm doing this for actually does because he has, he told me he has 21. So you could spend a little more time and do this. But if you didn't have it, you could use the uh, just a shape tool. And we'll see one more corner I like to smooth out. Right in there. Okay. We're going to call that good. Now, this is why I set your... A duplicate distance on zero, zero. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button, we're going to move this handle to this side. Now, we're a little bit messed up where we were, but we could fix that very easily by taking the shape tool and just, let's add a node right there by double-clicking and bringing that there. Add a, add a node right there by double-clicking and bring it right on top of that other node. Then we can delete these other lines. Matter of fact, we should be able to delete all this. Whoop, went too far. And see, we got some messed up nodes. So what I'm gonna do is back up, grab the entire thing with the pick tool first, then the shape tool, and reapply close all, or close all nodes. And now it should work significantly better. We've got a weird node there. Let's delete that node, delete that node. Let's go right click and break apart. Then we could take this node out of this picture, bring that one back. Now we're, we're losing our symmetrical part but we can still do it again. That looks pretty good. Now let's go back to that Docker, which we still have open, select everything, select it with your shape tool, and maybe they're a little bit bigger. Let's go 0.3 and close all those nodes. I don't think it did. 
because there's a messed up node right there. Whoop. Let's zoom in here and see what's going on. Delete that node and delete that node. Bring this back to here. Now, remember what I said about we've uh, gotten rid of our symmetrical part? Well, the easiest thing to do now is take the smart field. We got a leak. And if, if you take the rectangle tool, which I should have done, and see there's the leak. Somewhere we got a leak in here. And I've got to imagine it's on my new section. So I'm just going to take another two point line. This is taking a lot longer than it should have. I'm going to take that back to our hairline. And I'm going to try filling this in. There's our leak. It's on that side. Something we did. It's not on that side, so we're good. So we can take, let's just move that out of the way for a second. Move all this. Get rid of that line. Left click, right click. I'm gonna make it in red just so we can see it better. Make it a hairline. Control D and make a duplicate and mirror this over. Now we should be able to just delete that line in the center. And back, we're, now we're back to symmetrical. And then whenever you do something like that, go ahead and fill it back in with, that way it, it, it makes all the nodes complete and puts everything together, much like the weld tool would do. If you see this is two, two pieces where this is one piece. And then all we need to do is just draw that star or diamond shape and just get the polygon tool two-sided or four-sided polygon and just without holding on the control button. And see, I draw in hairline and that, and for this reason, mainly, it's just, to me, it's a lot better way to draw. And if we grab all this and hit P, now that diamond's right in the center, and we can take now this diamond, holding down the control button, and put it wherever you want, and then fill it in with black and then take away the outline. I'm gonna take away the outline of all of it. Now, if we bring in a yellow box, you can see it's just the squiggles and the shape, and we're pretty clean. We're pretty, you can spend more time than I did on it, but that's how I would do it. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank